In this part, I would like to talk about the order of operations, which plays a crucial role in our calculations. So if I say 1 plus 2 plus 3, and uh, the result will be 6, 1 plus 2 multiplied by 3, then the result will be 7, because this calculation is going to be done first. So 2 multiplied by 3 will be 6, and then 1 added. However, if I say, and I'm using the up arrow key, to bring the last operation and then I'm going to put this part into parentheses. Now the result will be 9. So MATLAB is completely aware of the order of operations and you will need to constantly be aware of that fact and it is one of the sources of error that especially beginners in MATLAB programming will get different results from those that they had expected. So if I wanted to show it in a more complex way, I can, let's say, uh, 1 plus 345, I'm just making some numbers, and then uh, the whole thing then divided by minus then multiplied by 45 43 okay so what's going on here is the fact that first you, the first thing that's going to happen is this part will be calculated then will be added to one and this is going to be the numerator and then in the denominator this part will be multiplied together then will be subtracted from this value and the whole thing is going to make the denominator. Then the division will take place. So the order plays a very important role. Let me clear up the screen to give you another example. So what if we want to say negative 1 to power 2, right? So it's going to be 1. But if you pay attention, you will notice that it's not 1, but it's negative 1. And the reason is exactly the order of operation. So what we did here we excluded the negative sign out of this square operation. So if you want to calculate that, you will need to include negative 1 inside parentheses. Then the whole thing is going to be squared. As I told you, because we think intuitively that, okay, negative 1 squared is going to be 1, but that's not the way MALAP, it's not the way the MALAP evaluates things. Therefore, in many cases, that's a source of error. I strongly suggest that you practice examples like this and create some example of yours or surf the internet and find the calculations as an example and this way you feel comfortable working with MATLAB along the way.